So Russell, I'm just absolutely blown away by some of the fossils we have sitting here in front of us. Are all these from the Peace River? They sure are, they sure are. This is just a small sample of what we find here. Give us a quick rundown of some of the stuff we have here in front of us. Well, one of the big things that everybody wants to come when they come to Peace River, of course, are these mammoth teeth because they're just so big and they're one of the elephants that were very common here in Florida. And these teeth, they can weigh up to about eight, nine pounds a piece. That's one tooth. Gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Mm -mm. And they start very small, but of course, some of these teeth, like I say, get very, very large. And that's one of the bigger things, along with some of the elephant bones that are very, very common that we find here in Peace River. So this is, this is an elephant bone. That's part of a limb bone, yes. Very rare do we find the whole bone in one piece. And normally we just find pieces and parts, but by most paleontologists, we can tell by just that piece that this is part of a mastodon femur. What's, a, what's the most common thing here for a novice to come here and find? Well, one thing if you come to Peace River that everybody's sure to find are dugon ribs. And this is a dugon rib piece right here. A dugon's like a manatee, but it has a, a tail more like a porpoise. Okay. The ribs are very heavy and dense bone, fossilized very well. And you'll find a five gallon bucket of these at Peace River every time you come, they're just so common. It is heavy, it almost feels like it's stone mm -hmm. or it's some kind of granite. Well, it's fossilized and dugongs actually use their ribs for ballast. That's what keeps them sunk down in the water. If not, they float like big bobbers on the, on the surface. That makes sense. One of the other common fossils that people come here to find, of course, are the megalodon teeth. This is what everybody craves to come, are the nice big shark's teeth. Megalodon. Mm -hmm. These are the giant sharks that were the biggest ones that ever lived. They estimate these sharks were as big as a school bus and you could easily stand in their mouths and not reach the top of their jaws. Now how common is it to find a tooth this big? Well actually, it used to be more common, but now as more and more people have been digging in Peace River, it's less common. That is a large, large shark's tooth. And that's what everybody wants to come find at Peace River. What is this right here? This is a saber-toothed cat saber. It's like a prehistoric can opener. Mm -hmm. Very sharp and serrated. Now this part here would be hidden into the gum, but saber cats, jaguars, and lions are some of the predators that lived in prehistoric Florida. A lot of people don't realize that a lot of the animals that live in Africa and South America today once lived here in Florida, and it's the fossils that they leave behind as the evidence that they did exist here at one time. What is this? This is another big tooth here. This is a mastodon, another one of the elephants. Now one of the main differences between mammoths and mastodons, the earlier teeth we looked at, is mastodons eat more plant material. Their teeth are designed for eating more plants, where the mammoth teeth are like your modern elephant, they eat more grasses and hardy woody material. And we can tell by the shape of their teeth how old that animal was, if it was a juvenile or adult. And this here is the chewing part. They rub from the back and move to the front of the mouth. Well this is really neat. Thank you, thanks for going through well, this with us, Russell. I'm looking it. forward to uh, getting in the water and... Uh, well, let's get in there and find some stuff. Hopefully finding one of these for myself. This is just amazing. Is, it, is that a, an official fossil hunting hat? No. 